Yeah, I want to run, uh, tell you how to run uh, Spooky 2 Cancer Frequencies and as soon as this guy gets out of the way, right? And you two down there. <laughs> um, but first, um, you know, I think a lot of people don't realize they don't need to purchase too much with this. They can, they can, well, whatever they want to do. But uh, the generator itself is 115, 114.95. The boost is 15 bucks. And a remote is 38. I get the uh, Bio North, the one with the the, the uh, so that's uh, 130 plus 38, 168 plus shipping, approximately 200 bucks. And you can also get the tubes, whatever the, for the handhelds, 20 bucks, or you can make them, whatever. So, but I just want to go over real quick how to do the uh, cancer frequencies. You know, I saw a review here real quick. You know, it says. Uh, requires the software. It's ten percent the cost of an F one sixty five. Blah blah blah. It doesn't really require the software. I've used it. I use this as a standalone on the uh, on the uh, elliptical machine. I use the four point system, three points positive. But let me just point out something. We're um, talking about, um, and this is as of January one, twenty fifteen, because. You know, every time I turn around, this thing changes. I almost hate putting an update out in this because uh, it changes so <laughs> so much. It improves, actually. It's improving all the time. So here's the software. So, for instance, the best thing to do would be, uh, let's say, cancer tumors, right? What you want to do is you want to choose... Uh, you want to choose uh, John White's... Uh, Killing frequencies right there. Right, and it, it it's already programmed, right? Then let's say cancer all tumors, right? Double click it on. Then click on overwrite um channel settings. Then here you can say you could type uh cancer cancer all tumors mm, type type let's type man tumors and then you would click this plus sign now that adds that to the drop down menu that adds that to the drop down menu so the next time all you gotta do is say select cancer all tumors and click overwrite all settings and that's it you don't have to do a damn thing it would be running these settings it would automatically pick that it would be under the John White's uh, killing frequencies actually the killing frequencies are um, you notice it does a frequency multiplier 64 it does this soft tooth wave and you'd be running this with the boost cable one remote I have two of them here but only one of them is hooked up and you gotta look at the instructions how to like hook the remote up now, to tell you the truth, um, I leave my remote set up. I don't want to get. I don't want to say that. I, there's something. Well, they tell you to switch these cables around when you use the versus the magnetic north and the bio north. I'm a little like. I don't quite understand that myself. <laughs> to tell you the truth, but uh, I just want to tell you this part though, uh, because I actually. I don't want to get into any kind of controversy here, though. So you just hit start. That's it. So there it goes. And that's it. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. So it's going by remote. I don't know how powerful this is. That's a good question. Uh, it's a little bit more controversial. Now, on your machine, like you notice, this says 727. It's actually 727 times... 64 it's doing it's actually putting a 64 multiplier in here now I noticed that another famous rife researcher out there they use this they use a multiple of 64 32 or 1 128 times uh, the frequency as it is uh, so what John White's doing is is agreeing with that which is interesting I found that to be interesting um, so next time when you go to click this on you also got to do just select your your drop down menu and uh, K 
cancer old tumors it's right there picks it up you hit overwrite settings you don't have to click the plus sign anymore see once you hit that once you type something in there and you hit that plus sign it it puts it in there it puts it in there so if you select John White's um, uh, JW killing frequencies it's already in there and then you do, you collect you, you double click something you put it down here like in other words you said uh, I don't know so let's say let's say uh, cancer let's get rid of this cancer all tumors let's change this to cancer what is that BX BXBY bup, bup, bup. He's probably got that already in there, though. I think he has it in there. Just, I'm looking under the custom frequencies. Well, let's just, just use uh, Hodgkins, right? Hodgkins, right? Right? And say we do that. And we just type in here Hodgkins, you know? H O, what the hell is that? D. G K I N S. And then we click on. So, like you, for an easy thing, you see Hodgkins, right? Boom. You plus it. So, next time when you hit this drop down menu, it's there, right? You can just pick it out. It'll be there, okay? It'll be there. So, you just run it and start. Does it. So next time, say if we stop it, if we go to hit the drop down menu, Hodgkins is there, right there. You can select it and just select overwrite settings every time. And then you just, you just click it on. Now, I don't know how effective this remote is. You know, I know this is not the only, um, you know, this is like the new age of Rife machines, quote unquote. They <laughs> use a remote quantum entanglement. I don't know how super, super effective these are. The thing is, you don't need to be near the machine, you know. And I'm thinking it's not really a lot of money. I mean, to use the remote only without, you know, the handhelds aren't even that much money, too. I mean, like, uh, I guess it's 168 plus whatever the shipping is that that'll get you all set to do anything you want with the remote because all you need is one remote you need one boost cable and you need a generator so 168 plus shipping shipping's what I don't know 38 40 something like that maybe so I don't know maybe it's a little over 200 uh, so that's about it that's about it you know, I wouldn't rely on this to, like like depend your life your life depends upon it, but you know, the spooky tubes, whatever they cost, uh I don't know what they cost here. Um I think they're twenty bucks or something. Spooky tube. Twenty bucks. Yeah, they're not much it's not much money. So uh, you know, usually your rifle machines are thousands and thousands of dollars. I know I checked these out. They're very accurate. The only thing is, like I said, just be cautious that this does not get unplugged. The power doesn't get plugged because it's not it's not designed to be powered by the USB. It's not designed to work that way. The USB is strictly to run the program. Uh, so in the future, if that happens, there's going to be some the, some chip available that you just plug in. You know, if you ran it that way and you burned out this chip, you're going to have that chip available. You just plug it in or something. You take the unscrew it you plug it in you you're all set and you're good to go well, I haven't had any problem I think um, I think I've had some power outages to here too and um, I have these always cooked the laptops I do not it not it has not killed any of the generators I've used so but I know there's always something that goes wrong with somebody's stuff but for the generally speaking they have been very reliable so and have been uh, addressing any kind of problems with a few people that did have problems so Anyway, uh, I just want to put this out about uh, addressing, you know, cancer. Um, now, how strong is this? I don't know. You know, it's like there's new things being developed all the time. Is this, is this going to be a cure? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to state that right now, even if it was. How was that? Okay? Even if I knew it was, and I says, I knew 10 people that it worked on, 
I'm not going to tell you that here and now anyway. But, you know, the thing is, I don't know that for a fact. But um, there has, what I, the way I look at it is, if it's going to work, the word's going to get out. And the price of this unit is so cheap, they're making basically nothing on it practically. Uh, just about nothing. Uh, and all the money they make goes to research and development. I don't sell this stuff. I don't have any connection to them at all. I'm just telling you, I think it's a great idea because it reminds me of Henry Ford, the Model T. Nobody can afford a car. <laughs> and now you got the Model T of the Rife machines out here. Everybody can afford one, you know what I mean? So that's the deal. So now if you don't like the quantum entanglement remote mode, you can use the handhelds and you can make some foot pads. Um, I got other videos on that, but this that's basically how it works. It's very simple. So he's improved it greatly by uh, he's already put his own settings in here. And it runs like the sawtooth wave. Uh, you'd have to have uh, the boost cable for that in a remote, which is this the boost cable right here. And you only use one remote. You can see this one's just sitting here. I don't have this connected to nothing. And uh, it's that simple. It's that simple. Not much to it at all. So uh, I know the instructions got probably like 200 something pages on there, but it's not it's not really difficult to use. Don't be intimidated by it or anything like that. Uh, so <laughs> uh, and if you have a problem, you know, try emailing the vendor or whatever it is, and they'll probably resolve it for you. So I don't think there's been many problems but you know there's been a few and uh, I heard about a couple of them but I don't want to emphasize that because there's been so few but I heard they resolved every one of them and uh, you know that was a thing so I just want to put that out here so if you have a you know you might say you know you want to run cancer prostate or something whatever you could say let's stop this let's see stop bump 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 prostate now I already have the killing frequencies in here so I could say overwrite settings prostate <laughs> cross <laughs> you know you can make your own uh, word to make it easy you know prostate then you put the plus sign that adds it into the drop down menu this drop down menu next time you go to choose you just to choose the drop down menu say overwrite channel settings you don't have to do anything. You just choose the drop-down menu, menu, and bam. You know, there you go. There it goes. So anyway, that's about it. It's simple as all hell, actually. Uh, I'm kind of giving you the cliff notes on it, but you know, if you you should read the entire manual. Uh, but I guess the manual gets like a little bit. You know, there's 200 something pages in there. People look at this and go, whoa. Even I was looking at it, I says, you know, this actually is simple. Well, it's not simple to design. <laughs> it's simple to use, though. It's very simple to use. It's very easy to use. I mean, it's, uh, the thing is, I, you know, I can't, I don't want to make anybody, I don't want to make any promises to anybody. It's just going to work for sure. I've been hearing a lot of good things, okay? But, you know, the other thing is, it's not endorsed by the medical community as some kind of medical treatment or anything, that's for sure. It's highly experimental, so people are experimenting with it. The whole point is, you could experiment with this for low bucks. And I did, I did check the output on these generators, just me, you know, not as a representative of Spooky, but I said, let me look at the wave, you know, the wave is coming out square, it's coming out rectangular. Uh, you know, like as it should be, it's coming out as a sawtooth wave, it's coming out as a, uh, the H-bomb wave, whatever the heck they have in there. I checked all that stuff, and you can hear that noise, that noise is actually the, uh, the generator, let me stop it a second, that's the actual remote. <laughs> that's the vibration going against the, uh, uh, the magnet there. But, it, it works accurately, it works true to form, it's very accurate. I checked it myself, I used a leader. LDC, um, what the hell was that? I forgot the name of it. It's a good quality frequency counter made in the USA. These things are accurate. I mean, I'm doing that on my own. I'm not, I'm not associated with them. I'm just doing that. I'm trying to tell people. I think this is a good deal. So, 
it's simple to use don't be too intimidated by the manual but you should read the manual because uh, the manual has a lot of stuff in there but sometimes when people read the, read too many I don't know maybe it's intimidating so here's the quick and dirty quick cliff notes you know that's that's really what it is you know if you want to use um, you know if you want to use it for um, healing you just uh, you choose what the heck is it so I got one here for cats you know, cats meow meows see there's one for the cats right so if you want to use for healing you can say healing right now I already put the nodular frequencies in there so for instance like you got rid of all that you said healing 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 and I don't know if you choose like a general uh, blood cleanser or something like that you said that and you said overwrite that you could actually name this as blood cleanser or whatever healing and then hit that plus sign and do it that way or you can use it in under the killing frequencies the healing frequencies are a square away so anyway that's it that's it it's pretty simple not not to, nothing complicated uh, I already changed the healing frequencies 100% positive offset that's what I did but you don't need to do that you don't need to follow what I do but the thing is, he's gotten it in here already. Like he's already made, he's already put his own healing and killing frequencies in here, so you can choose them. So next time, say for instance, we have, uh, you know, we choose uh, prostate. See, it comes up right there, cancer prostate. It automatically goes to, bop bop, you know, the the uh, sawtooth wave, and you click it on. And you got your DNA in there in a holder. It's in a little masking tape. There's a little masking tape in there. And you hit start. And well, it loads the waveforms. Right? Loads the waveforms. And there it goes. Now, sometimes it makes noise, depends on what frequency it is. You know, it's bouncing off the. Um, magnet or something like that <laughs> if it's a higher frequency it doesn't so that's it's actually 20 times 64 so 1280 because it's actually frequency 20 and it's we're using a 64 64 multiplier sawtooth wave pretty cool man it's actually very 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 simple to use very simple and you shouldn't have any problems. You shouldn't have any problems, you know. You shouldn't. I haven't had any problems. Not at all. So, anyway. That's about it. Okay.